What is gravy everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. I hope January is treating you well. Today we are talking about platinum trophies. Specifically, one platinum trophy that I got rather recently. But before we get into it, how about a little bit of context? Recently I decided to start working through my backlog of unfinished platinums. Now if you saw the last video you'll know full well there's a lot of simple games in there. Games that wouldn't take me too much to actually go back and finish. I mean, it's not like I've not got a lot around me. Now, earlier in the year, I'd gone back to finish until dawn. And then following that up with my recent playthrough of House of Ashes, I thought, why not go back and platinum all of the Dark Pictures Anthology? Don't get me wrong, I know they have their issues, and I'm not saying they're perfect, but... Given my love of horror, these things are right up my street. However, going back and getting the Platinum Trophy in Man of Medan wasn't the best idea. Let me explain. Okay, okay, I know what you're going to say. These trophies aren't actually that bad. They mainly revolve around getting certain endings or taking a specific path through the game with the odd collectible thrown in. It's nothing we've not heard of before. Coupled with the fact that on my initial blind playthrough, I got about a third of the trophies done, which for one of these games is quite high. This, however, lulled me into a false sense of security. Because while the number of trophies required for this platinum is rather low, the amount of backtracking, restarts, setup is actually what makes this so irritating. Now don't get me wrong, I am not one to turn my nose up at putting in some effort to get the trophies. I'm quite happy to stick a podcast on and do some grinding, or even get down the timing of a really challenging section. That's not what this is about. But if you were aiming to get this platinum in the minimum three playthroughs required, you'd need a damn flowchart, and that's if it's even possible. The reality is, you'll be restarting and chapter selecting for hours just to change one thing. And that brings me to my main issue with this Platinum Trophy. It gets very tedious very quickly. And when I say tedious, I'm not dunking on the game. Rather, I'm trying to highlight the amount of times you'll have to slowly walk down the same corridor, listen to the same dialogue or watch the same unskippable cutscene over and over and over again. In fact, as far as I can tell, some parts of this game actually work on a timer meaning that each time you reach this room, you're stuck here. And I counted, it's about six minutes, which only makes everything worse. Because a single mistake while playing through this game can mean you have to play through it all over again. Chapter select doesn't unlock until you finish that playthrough, and it only unlocks for that playthrough. For example, I was doing a playthrough choosing only one type of decision. And about two thirds of the way through that playthrough, I made a mistake, which left me with only two choices. I can finish the game, knowing that I will get nothing out of it, go back via chapter select, finish the game again, making the right decision, or call it quits, go back to the start and do it all over again. And this wouldn't be so bad, but the game doesn't hold up after all of this. I'd grown numb to the story by this point, because there isn't enough variety in the decisions and in the outcomes to sustain it for this long. After the fifth, sixth time of seeing some of these cutscenes, it's, it's just too much. And in this sort of narrative game, that's practically curtains. Because the gameplay isn't the focus and therefore isn't engaging enough on its own. In fact, there are points in this game where the gameplay straight up just doesn't matter pass or fail, the outcome's the same. There's a specific point towards the end where you have three quick time events back to back and there are all these tense heartbeat rhythm sections. I grew to realise that this particular section didn't change whatsoever whether I passed all three, passed a couple or just failed them straight up. And none of these things were an issue initially. Playing through the game the first time, you're immersed in the spookiness of it. 
And if I'd left it there, I'd still remember this game fondly. But I didn't leave it there. I had to push for the Platinum. And in doing so, I ruined this experience for myself. This whole journey felt like taking something I enjoyed and beating myself over the head with it. To the point that I couldn't stand to look at it anymore. And that's why I regret this Platinum. So take it from me. If you enjoyed this type of game, play it. By all means, play it a couple of times. See a couple of the different endings. But leave it there. Or you'll end up a withered husk holding L1 to walk faster, like me. So there you have it guys. The reason I regret getting the Platinum Trophy in Man of Medan. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Are there any games you don't think are suited for trophy hunting? Are there any Platinums you regret? Please do let me know. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give that like button a little thumbs up from me. And subscribe to stay up to date with everything here on the channel. And I shall catch you all next time.